free devotional stretch, much needed wherever you are. Why don't you just stretch before this devotional? Because why not? Hello, Audacious family. I am Sam Pets, one of the worship leaders at Audacious Church. It is so good to be able to share with you today. We're currently looking at Bible verses. We're currently looking at Bible verses that have great meaning to us. And when I think about this topic, there's one that is definitely rooted within my heart. Exodus 14 verse 14, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. For context, this is Moses speaking to the Israelites as they are faced with what looks like a dead end with the Egyptians approaching them, leaving the Israelites nowhere to run. Terrified, the Israelites question Moses, the man who God used to deliver them from slavery, saying that they would be better off as slaves than die in the desert. In reply, Moses tells the Israelites to be still as they allow God to fight for them. And with that, the Lord guides them through the Red Sea. Now, Imagine that you, you, your back is against a wall, nowhere else to, to run, life approaching a, a thousand miles per hour, and God calls you to, to, to be still. I, I don't know about you, but, but the last thing I want to do in a time of panic is be still. But, but countless times the Lord has called me to be still in moments where I felt it was all on me to, to, to fight. To be honest, for the last two years, I have been battling with, with lacking finances and I would be in and out of jobs trying to keep myself in Manchester where, you know, woo, Manchester, that's what I believe God has called me to be. Um, at the start of, of this year, actually, I felt God uh, tell me that things were about to change. I was working in, in, in a school at the time, uh, making just enough to survive and I was praying for a new job but whenever I would actually go to apply for a job it just felt wrong. I felt God tell me not to apply for jobs or look for jobs but to be still and allow him to take control. What? This felt counterproductive. Surely faith without works is dead. Surely God wants me to search for jobs but, but, but no God wanted me to be faithful in the season that I was currently in and prepare myself for where God was taking me. And yeah, I had countless people tell me that not looking for jobs is, is, is unwise. In fact, you're probably thinking that now, uh, and it makes no sense. But, but I, I, I knew what God was telling me. I knew that breakthrough was on its way. Months pass, and I get a message from my friend telling me that there's a position in their workplace opening up, which was way more salary than what I was on at the time. I had no experience in the sector and it made no sense to apply, but hey, it came to me. So I trusted God and I tried the door. A few months later, here I am in my first week of my new job that I didn't even seek for. The Lord fought for me. I just, I just had to be still. So what area in your life do you need to be still in and allow God to fight the battle? Let's pray right now. I'm going to pray and just listen closely to Jesus. Allow him to show you where you need to let go of control. Yeah, Lord Jesus, we love you. We thank you. We praise you. We worship you. Lord, as we, as we listen right now, I just pray that you reveal to whoever's listening, reveal to me as well right now, that if there's any area that you're calling us just to, 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 to let go of control, let go of fighting, and just be still and allow you to move, Lord. Right now, as we go into our days, Lord, we just pray that we feel your, your holy peace that transcends all understanding, telling us it's all going to be okay. Just, just be still. And I pray and I know that it's an act of worship to be still in times where we feel like we need to take control. But no, we let go of control and allow you to move. Thanks for your time today. If you missed out on previous devotions, don't you worry. You can catch up by heading over to youtube.com slash audacious church. You'll find a wealth of treasure right there. Have a blessed day. God bless you. Hope to see you on a Sunday sometime. Um, and yeah.
why don't you today make it a challenge to be still? Bye-bye.